All right, guys, so I made a really big mistake. I went to go start working on episode six, and it's in the wind, guys. I just cannot find the file. I did get it uploaded to Patreon, thank God, so it is over there if you want to go watch it. This is not a shakedown, guys. If you don't want to spend money on Patreon, I totally understand. I'm sorry for losing the video, but we are going to move on to episode seven. Uh, we just wanted to keep the reactions as genuine as possible, so I'm just letting you guys know that I messed up, and I hope you guys don't mind, but we did see the episode, and I'm very excited to get into the next one, so episode seven, let's go. Okay, so man, whew, so much happened in the last episode. It was crazy. The thing about the show is every single episode, there's just more on top of more. And it's almost like being in math class. Like, you know when you're in math, right? And you learn a new equation, but if you miss one of the foundational steps, you're just never really gonna get it. Yeah. Well, this is how Game of Thrones is, right? Man, I say all this to say this, man. I am ready to go. This show is just becoming one of my favorite things right now. I'm nervous to watch it though. Like, yeah, I'm so nervous every nervous. time. I don't wanna lose somebody. I'm gonna be so mad. From this time until the end of time, we are the free and independent kingdom of the North. <laughs> Starks are reply, cousin. Did you see my brother? I did. Tell him he has not been forgotten. I forgot about that. Yeah, I know. Leave him to it. Be quick about it. What did he even mess his sword up for? <laughs> All of you should do as he commands. Oh, I hated this part. I, for, I didn't mention that, I don't think. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> For Sansa. All right now, little bird, you're all right. Aww. Your brother's dessert, yeah? I think they're out looking for you. <gasps> yes. <laughs> what might this be? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about this. I have something for you from Prince Theon. Oh! When I came to this city, I had nothing. Today, I am the richest man in Calf. Where are my dragons? Oh, I hope she finds them. So who stole these things? That bald guy, I know it. Right, it's just what I'm thinking too. But they didn't show him in the last one, still him, did they? Yeah, but I, he's sneaky. He looks sneaky. That's just the only candidate. That's my candidate. Yeah, he had some weird powers. Mm. Like, yeah, I don't know what's up. Well, they said he drank some drunk, made his lips blue or something like that. Harrenhal was apparently a very, very, very good city that could not be destroyed until the dragons showed him how to do it. All right. Yeah, that's what I saw in the comments. Very nice information. Otherwise, I will destroy you. We shall see you in there. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've been quoting Stan as a ringer. That's my favorite part right now, guys. No, those men holding those banners will make me king. <sighs> we shall see you in there. <laughs> you like dismissed him like a little brother. <laughs> we shall see Renly. Love it. Ellie, he's like, do this or otherwise I will destroy you. <laughs> otherwise, I will destroy you. <laughs> Does that play the shivering seed? So what is that? Boy, y'all better give her them dragons back. I'm really not playing. You know, like when we get to the end of this, we're going to be like, remember early in the show, when she got her dragons kidnapped for no reason. Because <laughs> she's going to get them back, probably. I hope. What if you like, I don't want to say the. Don't say nothing bad because yeah. it's going to be good, hopefully. Hopefully. It's the Conqueror. Mm -hmm. Where's my lady? Theon the Great. Cripple. Let a cripple escape. The boy can't walk, but somehow he slipped past you. The giant must have took him. Even worse. The giant? <laughs> Hold on. You let a half-wit escape with a cripple. And Rickon too, the little one. That's on you, Theon. The one you were <laughs> That's on you, Biggie. Yeah, he was in there sleeping cozy, wasn't he? Yeah, <laughs> not. He was not. <laughs> That guy over there loves that. His like second in command. I'm glad they showed the realism though of his wrist on his breaking. Get the horses and the hounds. Oh. Theon's a little different right now. I know. But we have wolves over here. We don't got time for your hounds. Theon said, slapping your sister will make a man of you. <laughs> Get my Sir Lewin having to go because he has to. Enjoying your first hunt? Oh. So far, hunting seems very similar to riding, my lord. With hunting, <laughs> there's blood at the end. The little boys. I was a little boy when I was torn away from my home and brought here. It's your dad's fault. I kept my word. I never ran away. If I find them soon enough, I won't hurt them. Well, I'll hurt them, but I won't kill them. My sister's in Deepwood Mott. She'll get here long before they do. Oh, go send a raven right now, Master Owen. Stark always said 500 men could hold Winterfell against 10,000. <laughs> the hounds have the scent. Don't look so grim. It's all just a game. It's all just a game. I hate this guy right now. I hated this guy in John Wick. I hate this guy now. I, I wish I could like him one day. You know, that really goes to show something right there that Theon said. It's all just a game. In a sense, like, it is a game of thrones, right? Mm. And everyone's trying to, like, be some macho king that they're really not. So it's right. almost like everyone's LARPing in a way. Mm -hmm. But LARPing with, like, real life. They would have given you whatever you needed. And if Theon found out, he'd hang them. Boy can't survive on walnuts. I'm fine. 
You've been walking since before sunrise. Aw, it's cool to see the little one. Hold on. Even you, sweet giant. Hold on. I know that farm. Except there's two Winterfell orphans there. Jack and Billy, they'll give us some food. We can't <laughs> risk it. If Theon tracks us here, he'll torture them until he finds out where we are. He'll be after us with hounds. Can't outrun hounds forever. Do you think Hodor can understand them? Mm -mm. I think he's just like, Hodor. That's all he says, right? <laughs> yeah. We got to figure out why, because that's <laughs> killing me. I know. It's like he's a Pokemon who just says his name over and over Right. Again. Do you pull a knife on me in the night? John's like, it's cold, my lady. What's the matter? Can't be the first time you press your bone against a woman's ass. <laughs> That's what she meant. Let's move. Yeah. <laughs> I did not get. I did not get that ever. Why well, is the first time? How old are you, boy? I'm a man of the Night's Watch. You're a boy who's never been with a girl. Is she manipulating him? Don't your stones start nah. to work if you're. I mean, I don't know. In a sense, aren't you always? Don't call them that. No. Nope. Not stones. Or bones. Neither. Is she farting right now? I don't know. <laughs> like, they're confusing me. Because she's like um, a hostage. <laughs> right. <laughs> and that's what they do. Manipulate to get out. If you don't use them. Of course, maybe that's just what the lads say when they want me feeling sorry for them. As if I'd feel sorry for them. There are no girl crows. <laughs> there are no women of the Night's Watch, no. So the lads just do it with each other? No. Yeah. <laughs> we swore an oath. And you have sheep at the wall? Oh, jeez. Oh. Mate. With your hands, then. No wonder you're all so miserable. Why does she care so much? Right. <laughs> Would you please shut up? Would you please shut up? <laughs> she mocked him. You think you're better than me, Crow? I'm a free woman. You're a free woman. If you're my prisoner, you're not a free woman. That's what prisoner means. <laughs> and you think you're free? You swore some stupid oath, and now you can never touch a girl. It was my choice to say the words. That's the price you pay if you want to be a man of the Night's Watch. You prefer to invade our lands. Invade your lands? Wildlings raid our lands all the time. Some of them try to kill my little brother, a crippled boy. They're not your lands. You lot came along and just put up a big wall and said it was yours. My That's an argument that will start. never end or right. never yeah. be settled. Blood of mm -hmm. the first men. My ancestors lived here, same as yours. So why are you fighting us? Why are you fighting them? <laughs> It's crazy. They put up a wall and they were on the wrong side of it, they said. It's crazy because they call them wildlings, but they call, the wildlings themselves call themselves free folk. So that's why it's like you hear those two different. Yeah. Like on Halo 3, that game back in the day, the little grunts on there, they'd like when you'd shoot them because they were the bad guys, but they would see you and shout demons. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Because like, they would think that you were the demon. Yeah. And I don't know what this was, but that's terrible. This place looks crazy. Tywin. Wolfsbane. A rare substance. This is no common assassin. We hanged 20 men last night. I don't Jeez. care if you hanged a hundred. Man tried to kill me. I want his name and I want his head. We think it was an infiltrator from the Brotherhood without banners. The Brotherhood? Change they keep talking about that. Band of outlaws. We can't allow rebels behind our lines to harass us. Why are the dogs community. barking so much? We look like Maybe someone's at the door. We look like fools and they look like heroes. That's how kings fall. I want them dead, every one. Killing them isn't the problem. It's finding them. You've gone soft, Clegane. I always thought you had a talent for violence. Oh, that's the mountain without his helmet? <laughs> Is it really? I think his name's Clegane. Is that mutton? Yes, my lord. I don't like mutton. I'll bring something else. You hungry? I'll eat in the kitchen later. It's bad manners to refuse a lord's offer. Mm. Sit. She's got like the worst job ever. <laughs> Cause I really don't know what he knows. <laughs> well, she has to just sit there and like, just tidy away her day all day. It's weird. You've been underfed your whole life. I eat a lot, I just don't grow. This will be my last war, win or lose. Have you ever lost before? You think I'd be in my position if I'd lost a war? <laughs> Right. Their interactions are kind of funny. I like them. <laughs> They're intense, though. This is the one I'll be remembered for. I haven't oh. really seen him do anything absolutely evil, so it's hard to hate him. My legacy will be determined in the coming months. Oh, she sees that neck. Harold the Black thought this castle would be his legacy. Greatest fortress ever built. Tallest towers, the strongest wall. The Great Hall had 35 hearths. Remember when we Googled that the other day? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's a hearth? Look at it now. A blasted ruin. Dragons? Dragons happen. Crazy. Aaron Hall was built to withstand an attack from the land. Can't handle them aerial attack. An attack from the air with dragon fire. Aaron and all his sons roasted alive within these walls. That's crazy. Right? Aegon Targaryen changed the rules. That's why every child alive still knows his name. 300 years after his death. Aegon and his sisters. She said, make sure you throw the girls in there. It was Rainey's and Visenya too. Oh, she's smart. Uh -oh. Too smart. Rainey's she just showed herself. Be quiet, Arya. <laughs> Visenya Targaryen was a great warrior. She had a Valyrian steel sword she called Dark Sister. 
A dog doesn't need courage to chase off rats. Does it give you joy to scare people? No, it gives me joy to kill people. <laughs> Spare me. You can't tell me Lord Eddard Stark of Winterfell never killed a man. It was his duty. He never liked it. Is that what he told you? He lied. <laughs> <laughs> Killing's the sweetest thing there is. Mm. Why are you always so hateful? You'll be glad of the hateful things I do someday when you're queen, and I'm all that stands between you and your beloved king. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, he's saying, watch your watch your mouth, or I'm not going to protect you from Joffrey. Like, I've had your back a few times. If I wanted your dragons, I would have taken them. They mean nothing to me on their own. They're more valuable than anything in the world. So you look inside my vault and see what's selling your dragons would buy me I cannot buy already. We will get them back. There is no we. I took you under my protection in front of the rulers of my city. A man is what others say he is and no more. Aww. If they say that Zaro Zohan Doxos is a liar, my word is worth nothing. Cannot let this thing happen to you under my roof. But it did happen under your roof. I, hope I you don't care where you've been. Find them dragons, girl. I can't. I don't want to watch this without you having them. I know we need to find Zack and Wheezy. Oh, and, and the comments also said Dracarys is not their name. It means fire. Hmm? It's like a command. We thought the dragon's name was Dracarys. Oh, like, oh, okay. It's a command to breathe fire, apparently. So the one is like, swift attack. Like, Dracarys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's in her language. You don't go serving some shit king who's only king because his father was. No, you serve Mance Raider, the king beyond the wall. We chose Mance Raider to lead us. Democracy, he John. Mm -hmm. Same as you, but you wanted to be free. Now he probably just hated the Night's Watch. You, free too. you don't need to live your whole life taking commands from Yeah, probably. Men. Wake up when you want to wake up. I could show you the streams to fish, the woods to hunt. Build yourself a cabin and find a woman to lie with in the night. You're a pretty lad. He's probably going to be like, nah. I could teach you how to do it. Yeah, he's too honorable. I know yeah. how to do it. You know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> You know, like, they're married in real life, though. Like, everyone's saying in the comments. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's actually funny. She just told him he didn't know nothing. <laughs> Sounds like married life. She sounded like Conor McGregor. <laughs> you know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know nothing. You're a podcaster, brother. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and what did she say? Two bees. She admired your spirit. Oh, no. And what then? <laughs> she, uh... Ripped, she it up. ripped it up. If every man were held accountable for the actions of every distant relative, Sir Alton, we'd all hang. Facts. That was smart there, Rob. Look at that guy back there. He was like, true. Half, your grace. <laughs> You've acted with honor. Thank you for it. Lord Karstark, see that Sir Alton's pen is clean and give him a hot supper. Sir Alton's pen is occupied, your grace. Too many prisoners. Is there room for Sir Alton? Does he need to lie down? Yeah, he needs to lie down. He's been traveling back and forth. Have the men build him a new pen. Put him in with the Kingslayer for now. Have your boy watch over them. That will be all. So Rob's trying to do the right thing by him, right? Yeah, Rob. He's just... a prisoner of war, but he's not trying to like be evil to him. Yeah, because he said time. it's not your fault what your family does. He said we'd all hang. Yeah, if you're a distant relative, if you're in <laughs> charge of <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even know what Let's I was going to say. Let's go, Rob. That's my boy. Yeah. I need to get me a Rob Stark shirt because I'm supporting the cause over here. Men. King and my enemies. They are not my enemies. That's what I tell my bannermen. I've already run through the supplies I brought with me. Some are easily replaced. But some are not. I need silk for stitching. I need fennel root for those with fever. Mostly I need milk of the poppy. You saw what it was like to amputate a foot without any. I assume there will be more loss of limb before this war is over. If you need help finding these. I know where to find them. I'm sorry. I shouldn't interrupt you. Continue. My lady. Oh. You're riding to the crag to negotiate a surrender. Yes. The crag will have a meister, and he will have what I need. 
Oh, be careful, though. Yes, will. Come with me to the crack. Get it yourself, huh? I don't think that'll be. Let the maester show you his stores. I want the wounded men to be treated well. All the wounded men. She's like, I love that. She's like, this slim pickings in this kingdom, so. <laughs> let me go for the head honcho. <laughs> well, no, let me go for like the one guy who's not just like a total douche. <laughs> we circled this farmhouse twice. There's no sign of them. We could start the search fresh in the morning, my lord. I'm looking at spending the rest of my life being treated like a fool and a eunuch. Ask yourself, is there anything I wouldn't do to stop that from happening? The hounds will find the scent again. I'll whip every man here until I have both those boys in hand. Look at that guy. And once I've got He's like, whip me for what? <laughs> I encouraged all of this. Better to be cruel than weak. Where are they? Don't know. I see no one. Oh, oh my God. Think harder. I swear, my lord. I don't know. Over here. Of course, that guy. I think I found what we're looking for. Walnuts. Dang it, Hodor. They said we're either about to find some kids or a squirrel. <laughs> oh, damn. Send the old man home. Go back to Winterfell. Take him back. Theon, don't do this. You know what, Theon? But Theon's kind of like, you know, he kind of makes some mistakes. <laughs> it's like it's hard to take Theon serious. Yeah, he kind of makes some mistakes. Like letting letting Osha come in there. Yeah, that was just that was really dumb. <laughs> yeah. He came back. As soon as I heard. Arya is dead. She was a good. She's dead. She died Aww. for me, and I couldn't protect her. Daria. We can't find her. She must be dead too. I led my people out of the Red Waste and into the slaughterhouse. I should have been here. You went to find me a ship. My place is by your side. I That's kind of what I was thinking. With these people, they are not to be trusted. And who is to be trusted? Your people are in Westeros. The people in Westeros don't know I'm alive. They will soon enough. And then what? They'll pray for my return. They'll wave dragon banners and shout my name. So my brother believes in he was a fool. Trust me. There it is. Trust me. And it's you I should trust, Sir Jorah. I would. I don't know, man. Wasn't he a snake early on? I don't yeah, but he stopped. Trust any longer. So a snake I don't, don't turn into it, an alligator. I don't have you were too young to be so. And you were too familiar. He just wants to touch her. Have you noticed that? I don't know. I don't know about no that. I'm like, this world I hope down. not. Let me help you. Tell me how. I just feel like he's seen the dragons and like supported the cause hard after because I would. Find my dragons. Yeah, to be honest, like I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of being funny, guys. I really don't think that he has that intention. That's not the vibe I'm getting. I'm getting the vibe that he kind of sees her as a daughter, but he cross. really believes in like what she represents. Because he's seen her do like good acts. Exactly. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. So far. So far, I mean, we've seen mistakes too, though. Do you even know where they are? We're close. What do you think they'll say when they hear about you and me? Nothing happened between you and me. I swear it, old Master King Cross. We were only close together for warmth. And then I felt it <laughs> right up against my backside like a club. And before I knew what was where, his and his what the heck? legs and the shame of it. Turn back around. And I thought that we were done, but he said, Turn back around. John went north and found him a freak, didn't he? I know. What in the world? <laughs> Got on a leash and everything. What in the world? Me as well, Joss. But right here in the muck. Don't trust her, right? I mean, either that or make her face the other way. <laughs> like, I don't have to. Not trying to be too graphic, but. All right. All right. God's your doll. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she took off. John, you better catch her, bro. He's dumb. He's about to go right back to being a steward after this. Like, why would he fall for her shenanigans? Like, he knows better, right? Yeah, but think about your John, though. Ain't he, like, 19 in the show no or idea. something? And he's supposed to be, like, really young. He's a boy. I can't tell because he looks like 30. Oh. <gasps> she tricked him up hard, boy. <gasps> They're everywhere. Now he's about to be a prisoner, ain't he? Oh, John. Oh, my gosh. What have you got yourself into? You had the chance. She just knows her way, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they have the He advantage. should not have. He should not have given in at all to this girl, John. Oh, she's dreaming about that again. Oh my gosh. Sansa with the PTSD. Poor girl. Absolutely. Why are her? Why is she so bruised? Because they were like, oh, she's bleeding. Oh, what's going on? Oh, she's old enough. Joffrey. She's scared of Joffrey. Yeah. Oh my God. He's gonna come. He's ripping out of the bed. I can have Joffrey's children now. That's so sad. Have my over. Wow. Do you see her help her immediately though? That lady's gonna be so happy for her a bit. Oh my God. Oh my God. Get her, Shay. What is Shay gonna do? Where are you going? To tell her grace. You'll say nothing to anyone. Okay, Shay. But isn't she gonna go and just tell him anyways? And then tell her that Shay did that? I don't know. 
I th- okay. Oh no. Oh. Oh, mm. what is going on, bro? Why? Maybe he won't tell too because he don't like uh, Joffrey really. Nah, he's telling, bro. No idea, no oh kidding. no. My mother told me, but I thought it would be different. In what way? I thought it would be less. Oh, he did tell. Less oh, right. Wait until you birth a child. You're a woman now. Do you have any idea what that means? I'm fit to bear children for the king. A prospect that once delighted you. The greatest honor for a queen. Joffrey's always been different. Oh, you don't say. Even his birth, <laughs> I labored a day and a half to bring him into this world. Dang. I cannot imagine the pain. <laughs> he was, he was <laughs> toxic from the start. Robert was hunting. He was hunting balls. <laughs> it was his custom. When he returned, he would present me with some pelts or a stag's head, and I would present him with a baby. Yeah, that wasn't his. Not that I wanted him there, mind you. When they told Jamie he wasn't allowed in the birthing room, he smiled and asked which one of them proposed to keep him out. Joffrey will show you no such devotion. Dang. Yeah, he don't care, bro. You may never love the king, but you will love his children. I love his grace with all my heart. That's so very touching to hear. Permit me to share some womanly wisdom with you. The more people you love, the weaker you are. Wow. You'll do things for them that you know you shouldn't do. You'll act the fool to make them happy. Love no one but your children. On that front, a mother has no choice. Shouldn't I love Joffrey, your grace? You can try. Um, Little dove. I'd be relieved to hear this. But that was like a hard, like, Conversation for Cersei to have. Kind of a respectful one. At least she's not sitting there prodding to try to figure out if she deeply loves Joffrey. Yeah. And then using it against her. She knows because she had to do the same thing before. Oh, is that Jamie? Mm -hmm. Oh, he looks rough. Lannister. She's the fat one. Well, perhaps she's gotten a little larger than no, she was. only one fat Lannister. She was your mother, you'd know it. <laughs> I, I squired for you once. When? The tournament the day of Willem Frey's wedding. I went to Willem Frey's wedding? <laughs> you did. Your squire had gotten so drunk the night before that he threw he up. He threw up on his horse on the way to the tourney grounds. What was his name? Brian. Poor lad. <laughs> I was my brother's doing, I seem to recall. I remember you. You'd never squired for anyone before. I ran up and volunteered. You know, let me, my lord. Oh, he's Aww. like a fan. My father was furious. No, he's a Lannister. Yeah, but he's like a Jamie fan, though. Because mm -hmm. Jamie's like a celebrity in the family. Yeah, because he's a good swordsman. Yeah. You didn't, though. And he's a knight, right? You really remember? Mm. You knew when you were needed. It's a rare talent. Most of my squires, young men with big jobs, they tend to overdo them. Well, when I think back to that day. <laughs> Why is he hissing at me? Is torture him? <laughs> He's telling him to shut up. You were saying? Never mind. It's embarrassing. More embarrassing than being chained to a post. <laughs> <laughs> I remember everything about that day. Your helmet, your horse, the rake lines. Yeah, he's meeting his hero list. right now. Where the sun was in the sky when you knocked the horse from his horse. And the dent in your shield when you handed it back to me. So the whole time he's like, that's my cousin. <laughs> Boy, that's crazy. <laughs> until I die. That was the best day of my life. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cute. I know. All the competitors were done. I was the last one out there. But I couldn't leave. I couldn't bring myself to go and sit with my family at a table so far on the edge of the feast you could barely even see the bride. And I couldn't bear to tell them what it had been like squiring for you. But I knew that they could never have the faintest idea what I was talking about. Oh, wow. He's like a... I understand. Hello, Warren. How could you? Maybe. S sorry, I... No, he's just such a fan. Like a... Like a stan, almost. Mm -hmm. Which night was it? Barris and Selmy. Oh, oh, wow. Sir Barris. The goat. Fight against the Kingswood outlaws before your time. What was he like? He was a painter. Mm. <laughs> Painter who only used red. Dang, what a G. Like Tom Brady in play action. <laughs> Fight like that. Mm. Not back then. To be a part of something that perfect. <laughs> I don't need to explain how that felt, not to you. It's hard to put into words. It's like stepping into a dream you've been dreaming for as long as you can remember and finding out that the dream is more real than your life. That was deep. Leaving that battlefield was like being dragged off to prison. Did you squire for him again? No, I didn't have your gift. You couldn't take a step without stepping on me. <laughs> I was awful, complete liability. <laughs> Until one of the outlaws decided to take on a 16-year-old squire. It's a good thing I am who I am. I'd have been useless at anything else. That's the most Jamie's ever said this whole series. <laughs> it's like good to see him opening up a little bit and just being so kind to someone. Just away from Cersei, honestly. I imagine he made an excellent prisoner right up until the end. My life has left me uniquely unfit for constraint. And have you thought about? Of course, every day. And? Good prisoners breed good jailers, apparently. Starks are very careful. <laughs> there is a way, I think. Oh no. It wasn't possible until now. Has Rob what put them it? together? We don't know. Has Rob put them together in the chain, in the like cell? 
So now he can escape, maybe? It's actually quite simple. Are they going to start working together? Mm -hmm. You'll only have to do one thing. Tell me. You'll have to die. What? <gasps> what? Oh, he just attacked. Bro. Oh, my God. I feel so manipulated. I feel so manipulated. My feelings are hurt. Bro, I cannot believe that this guy's this terrible. I'm sitting there like smiling, feeling like whole, like wholesome. In a way, dude, like maybe he's, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe the show's gonna start to paint that he's not so bad, but I think that he's just terrible. Like no wonder that's Joffrey's dad. What the heck is that? They're using blood to paint something? Jura the Andal, this man must sail past Old Valeria. All who travel too close to the doom must have protection. He's a tattoo artist. <laughs> you came for the dragons. You have them. Where are they? Draw your sword. See what your steel is worth. Who is this lady? I'd be so confused if I was him. You love her. Where are the dragons? Will you betray her again, Jora the Undal? Dang. Will you betray her again? Never. Is that, is that real? <laughs> it's with her now. Zora? I did not leave the comfort of my home to come to yours and be called a thief. Who is she to accuse us? They're my children. I'm begging you. It wasn't very long ago you were threatening us. Without me, the dragons will die. It will be for the best. Poor dragons Dang. will bring the world nothing but death and misery, my dear. If I knew where they were, I would not tell you. <laughs> wow. Oh, my friend. The mother of dragons is in the right. She must be reunited with her babies. I will help you. I don't trust him. Easy. He's the one who probably stole them. Yeah, he probably has them. To the house of the undying. That's probably where they're at. Where I have put them. Oh. Oh, my God. Why? You have my dragons. When I learned you were coming to our city, I made an arrangement with the king of Karth. He procured them for me. There is a king of but Karth. there is no king of Karth. That was the other half of the arrangement. What? <gasps> Sneak. You would keep your gates and your minds closed to everything outside your walls. But Karth cannot remain the greatest city that ever was if it refuses to change. I will open Karth to the world as I have oh, forced wow. it to open itself to me. That guy right there is good. Your ambition is an inspiration. But like all upstarts, you overreach. Three dragons the size of cats and an alliance with a charlatan do not make you a king. <laughs> an upstart and a charlatan. Empires have been built by less, willingly or otherwise. The mother of dragons will be with her babies, and they will thrive by her side. <laughs> what? What is happening? What's, what's that confused looking face? No, I'm confused. A mother should be with her children. And what in the heck? To Daenerys Stormborn. The dragons wait for you in the house of the undying. So is this a trick for her to go there? Or a trap? Do you know what that guy is? Like, am I, did I miss something? No. You know how I'm always like, not really paying attention as good as you? It's kind of like he's tweaking, like he's a druggie. <laughs> Forgive me. Lady Stark, I caught Kingslayer. He didn't get far, did he? Dang, oh my gosh. <laughs> you dare to do this to the cast He's like, <laughs> he's kind of like Ned. You remember Ned said he grew up with soldiers, so he's prepared to die a long time ago. That's how mm -hmm. Jamie is. That's what he said, too. Something, oh my gosh. something along the lines. Is TB going to come out here and take control? Oh, get one of these little... Who stands between her father and his vengeance asks for death. This man is our prisoner. This monster killed my son. And crippled mine. He will answer for his crimes, I promise you. I will have his head. And if you try and stop me... You will strike me down. Oh. Have you forgotten me, sir? I am the widow of your liege lord, Eddard Stark. I am the mother of your king. He has gone to the crag to accept the surrender. But not to negotiate. Threatening my lady is an act of treason. Treason? <laughs> Let's go. How can it be treason to kill Lannisters? Stand down. When your son returns... Catelyn Stark's a damn goat. I will demand this murderer's head. Why is yeah, she's awesome. She is something different. I love her. Love their sons do. I will have his head. She's like one of my favorite characters. She's a fierce woman right there. Would have come to your defense, but... Shut up. Take him to the stockade. <laughs> Go to the stockade. Find him with every chain you can find. <laughs> There's so fish left in you. And gag him. Yeah. That's because she, of her, of her house sig sigil thing. What? Her first one was like some type of fish. Oh, okay. That's why he said that. Not being gross. I thought something gross. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I, knew, I knew I saw your face. Passed off. 
200 ships. That's where Brian's from. That's more than we have. He'll be at our gates within five days, four if he has the wind. We have strong high walls. We'll rain fire down on them from above. You're quoting father, aren't you? Yeah, she doesn't know what she's talking about. <laughs> he has a good mind for strategy, doesn't he? Call it tactics, not strategy. But yes, he does have a good mind for it. The best mind, some would say. Sadly, he's not here. <laughs> It's just you, me, and Joffrey, the Lord of the Seven Kingdoms <laughs> and protector of the realm. <laughs> He's saying it in a mocking way, I'm isn't sure he? I'm sure make a point eventually. He needs to stop <laughs> acting like a king. This war you started is coming to our doorstep. If we can't control him. Do you think I haven't tried? I think she has. I really do. He doesn't listen to me. Yeah, but she's also having inappropriate conversations it's hard to mm -hmm. with him. On a dog once you've put a crown on its head. True. I always hoped he'd be like Jamie. Well, he's, he looks he's like a, actually, kind of. Robert was a drunken fool, but he didn't enjoy cruelty. Sometimes I wonder. What? If this is the price for our sins. Dang. Sins? I mean, that's a good line of thinking. Targaryen's <laughs> wed brother and sister for hundreds of years, I know. It's what Jamie and I would say to each other in our moments of doubt. Half the Targaryens went mad, didn't they? What's the saying? Every time a Targaryen is born, the gods flip a coin. Oh, wow. Is there inbreds? Did she though? Good, decent children. Okay. But not the one in charge. They just flipped the coin on Joffrey. <laughs> Dang, look at Tyrion, like, gonna go comfort his sister, but he feels awkward about it. Bump that. I mean, I'm cruel, but screw her, dude. Like, I get it. Cersei's just a woman who has no control. But, like, ultimately, she does have a lot of control, but she doesn't. Because Joffrey so is unique. <laughs> The sun returns at dawn, my lady. So they say. King Slayer won't last the night. The more they drink, the angrier they'll get. And when the Karstarks draw their swords, who wants to die defending a Lannister? <laughs> Come. You heard someone else say it. What? He won't be making it through the night. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be alone with him. Oh, God. Don't be alone with him. Like, that's a bad idea. Bree's not going to allow it. Goodbye, Lady Stark. There we go. There's that smart mouth. If it's my last night in this world. Yeah, they've been telling him. <laughs> Is that a woman? Do you hear them out there? They want your head. Old Lord Karstark doesn't seem to like me. He strangled his son with your chains. Was he the one on guard duty? He was in my way. Any knight would have done the same. You are no knight. You have forsaken every vow you ever took. There's so many vows. <laughs> they make you swear and swear. They kind of do, don't they? Yeah. Obey the king, obey the king, obey your father. But what if your father despises the king? of the king massacres the innocent it's too much no matter what you do you're forsaking one vow or another yeah that's that's where did you find this beast oh. <laughs> dang he's a truer knight than you will ever be king slayer king slayer he hates that what a king he was mm -hmm. here's to Ares targaryen and to the sword i shoved in his back he's proud of it you are a man without honor. Title. You know, I don't really blame him for what he did, though, the yeah. way they describe it. Mm -hmm. I've never been with any woman but Cersei. So in my own way, I have more honor than poor old dead Ned. What was the name of that bastard he fathered? Brienne. No, that wasn't it. <laughs> Snow, bastard from the north. Did you pretend to love it? You're not very good at pretending. Yeah, she You're didn't an really. Honest woman. You hated that boy, didn't you? How could you not hate him? The walking talking reminder that the honorable lord eddard stark another woman sword goodbye jamie you oh, don't talk to yourself why into would the you do that jamie boy. like why would you talk that much junk I told you what would happen look at all those women and oh my men. god I told you you're so mighty Theon. you serve me loyally and what would happen if you did not you better you freaking not dude whether your new lord means what he says here is the answer to your question <laughs> Was those kids? That is not Brandon Rick on right. Beyond what? burned them alive, babe. I have a hard time believing it, but why is Meister Lewin in chains? That was either Recon and Bran, or that was either those other two kids. Two farmer boys. And I don't know which ones oh it was. I don't know who it was supposed to be. The two orphans. Right. All right, guys. So that was Game of Thrones, A Man Without Honor. Babe, what do you think about that episode? I thought it was insane. I think that a lot of things are moving forward. I know I said that every episode, but it's of getting course, faster. yeah, it's getting faster. Daenerys finally, I guess she knows where her dragons are, but it's hard to tell because that man's really trippy. It's so hard to know what's going on with that whole yeah. we found situation out that Zaro, in Essos. Zaro Zenas Dorcas or whatever his name is. I know I'm wrong, but it's, it's like that. <laughs> but um, he was on the wrong side of things. 
Like he tricked Daenerys. Like he brought her in there to kill all the 13. Yeah, basically. Uh, they came in and they said that we're going to start a brand new tradition in the greatest city that ever was in the greatest city that ever will be. You know, the idea on its face is really ridiculous. If they genuinely believe it's the greatest city that ever was or ever will be, I don't know how, why you would fundamentally change the way you do like your form of like democracy there. They had a council. Somehow the guy's been, somehow the guy's multiplying himself and you yeah, know. Yeah, and how is he doing that? I don't know. I don't know what he is. He's like a warlock. Yeah. I, bro, I don't know. I don't even know nothing about like wizardry or nothing so i don't even know like bro he's like a wizard to me bro that's like I the know, only word uh, i know to describe i, I have no word like a I, wizard i didn't uh, see a wand so i can't call him a wizard but <laughs> anyways <laughs> yeah you're right <laughs> i mean I, I don't know what he is uh john I, what i think is he's on drugs baby so john got captured by the wildlings bro oh yeah that was intense right there so he's probably about to go through some straight torture but nothing has been more torturous than what jamie did to that Poor guy. Oh my God. That was the most manipulation I've seen. Like, I think on anything we want. That was like, jacked up, man. That, I'm sitting there. Because it had my heart. I was like, I really like Jamie. Like, what? Like, I didn't like Jamie just because really like Jamie him. pushed a kid out of the window. I'm I didn't never really going to like Jamie. I didn't really like him. I'm, I'm not going to say that, but I really like was starting to feel like he actually had a heart. Like, maybe. Get, spending some time away from Cersei showed that he actually like is his own person. He's not evil, right. well, but he's evil. I think the show, the vibe I was getting was even the great Jamie Lannister after being held captive for so long would eventually break character and just sort of like try to stop putting on this persona of like, I'm not really a human. I'm like above that. Cause he puts yeah. on such a persona. Like he's such a, like a high born nobleman. Like he's just above people. So always has something smart to say out of his mouth. And it turns out that he does not believe that at all. He was perfectly willing to sacrifice anyone who just happened any said it himself oh i'm so sorry he just happened to be in my way so that's jamie in a nutshell don't mm. get in his way because he doesn't care about you and that right. appears to be you know at least his motivations are self-driven and selfish joffrey on the other hand he just seems like he just likes to like yeah and going into that horror. seeing cersei kind of talk to Tyrion and, and kind of break down like we really have no control of this kid i'm like, really having a hard time understanding like cersei i mean the thing about the show that i really like is characters are so gray and complex you know mm -hmm. and not everyone's so easy to understand but cersei just seems like a woman who like was called to a purpose in her mind you know i feel like she thinks that she needs to be there like mm. you know she needs to be in that position for the like you know the betterment of people. i think she's just a woman who loves her children but she's not in control of anything but she loves her children and that's why she's gonna sit there and stand by joffrey because she loves her son yeah but then you could really get into like the intellectual debate like if your son's a psychopath murderer like if you really love your son is the best thing to do is to allow him to continue to be well, a you psychopath could do that, murderer. But I think, you know what i'm saying i think cersei in a nutshell she just loves her kids and she thinks she does what's best for him even if it's like like not the right thing at all but for her in her mind that's the best thing for them yeah i mean we'll see more with and Cersei. Then, she's well, just... also with that sansa yeah she's able to have joffrey's children now which is a scary thing oh man yeah that was heartbreaking in the beginning of the episode the way she like started freaking out when she yeah, saw it because she acted like she acted like that moment the moment she had like you know getting her period and stuff it was just equivalent to getting stabbed by those guys that day you know the vibe that i got from that was she knew eventually that that was going to happen and so it almost seemed like in a way she was trying to like i'm not saying leaving or escaping because she hasn't really seemed to do that she seemed like brainwashed like everything every time someone well, she's kinda, scared yeah she's, she's scared. scared but and and i get that it's not technically it is brainwashed because she knows she has to say what she has to say to survive right, so like every time someone tries to like put her against joffrey she just like utters out the same thing like i'm true to my i'm true to my real love king joffrey and that's so sad well it seemed like she was trying to like build it seems like she's trying to build that courage to to run away or to do something or to take some type of action to change her situation but when she woke up and discovered that she had started her period it seemed like she realized like i had i, I missed the boat yeah like, like i I'm ran done out of time here. Yeah, and, and it, it seems also like I, I didn't really think too much of Shay, but in that moment, I really liked her character. I really liked that she stuck up for um, Sansa, even though it got out in the end. She still like put a knife to that girl's head and was ready to like help her just for Sansa. I don't know if there'll be ramifications for that. I mean, I the show's know. so thorough so far, I'd imagine that we're going to see in the future that she's going to be in trouble for that. I mean, right. And and technically, Cersei doesn't even isn't really supposed to know about her because that's that's blackmail for Tyrion. Hopefully she just still doesn't know about her. I hope not. OK, so let's go through. So. Um, we covered Jon Snow. We covered what's going down in Essos, which is the most confusing aspect of this TV show so far, but it's also in a way the most interesting aspect. So, so let me know in the comments as much as you guys can, but try not to spoil anything. Like if there's things that I'm going to discover in the future, I would really like to know, but you guys know me at this point. If there's things that you know I'm just not going to catch, you know, definitely let me know. What about Arya? So well, what's Arya's path? Oh, Arya. Arya's mm -hmm. got a really cool little storyline going on. So mm -hmm. 
She's hanging out with one of Ty the most Wim. captivating the actors line. I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, when this guy gets on TV, bro, like like all the attention just sucks into him. Right. Um, <laughs> You're not. I think him, Joffrey and Cersei, those three characters, I have to pay attention to what they have going on because everything they say matters. You know what I really like about like older people when it comes to acting? Mm. When you become a man the age of Tywin Lannister, like in real life, you know, you know, when you're at that age, you can't, there's a lot of things you just can't do because you've lived a full life, right? Mm -hmm. That guy, no matter how old he is, that guy can act his yeah. ass off, dude. Like nothing's ever going to change that. So, you know, it's just crazy to see someone that age who can do things better than like, like Jon Snow can, for example, like, I, that guy's acting you, you his butt off. You know who that off, guy man. reminds me of? His, his name's Charles Dance. I've seen in the comments. Okay. H the actor who plays Gandalf reminds me of that guy. Like they're, the way they just like, I can't explain it. They have such an adult, like their vibe is kind of like i have to know what they're saying on, when i'm watching them well the thing about you said charles dance yeah well the thing about him guys is like when he acts he's not really doing much like you would imagine if he was just walking around his house that's probably how you would act right. right you know what i'm saying and it's just brilliant i don't know i really enjoy it i don't it's know how a, to describe it's it facial expressions and you can read it you can't you can but can't read his emotions right he said he said easy girl i like your company or something like that just the way he talks i don't know man he's just he's just but killing. anyways their story is unique because it's kind of like he knows, but the thing is, we're just not sure how much Tywin actually knows because he's kind of proved he knows so much about the realm and stuff. For some reason, we're I don't know if we're on the silly side where we really don't know that he knows about Arya, but I'm getting the vibe that he doesn't know. Well, I think that he knows. Well, he does know officially that she is a girl from the north. Right. Right. So and that she's a highborn because she's smart. Right. And so, but he doesn't seem to be intimidated by the fact that there could potentially be someone that could be a quote unquote spy. You know, right. he doesn't seem well, intimidated. Well, not, not by just that, a so. spy, but like if he finds out that he is Arya, then they could trade to get Jamie back. Does he want Jamie back like that? I think he does. I mean, he wants a son back. Remember, he was sitting there. He's like, they took my son. So I'm saying, thing. but you think that if he discovered that was Arya, he would instantly just like take her and be like, okay, well, I'm going to use your I think trade. it would change the war. You think it would? I think it would have a big impact on, on war. I don't know, man. Tyr I think uh, it could. He was going on and on about his legacy will be defined in the next couple months. So this is his last war, no matter what, he's retiring after this. Right. Just that line in general really makes me think that things are going to be going down. And it kind of gave me chills when he said that, because I feel like he's going to play a really big role right in the and that sucks come, for Arya so. because she can probably sit there and hear the battle tactics and all these things but can't do a thing about them because what is she gonna do like how's she gonna send a raven how's she gonna do anything right she can't tell rob and also that how would he believe that raven like that's the thing i don't know i don't know man i'm more i'm, I'm really interested to get back over to essos and figure out what's going on with that so the vibe that i got was definitely the way they set everything up ultimately they thought that daenerys was going to love the idea and want to basically be queen of this new place because right. there's no one standing in the line the council's gone the way that they operate is going to be fundamentally different and you don't have to go over to westeros she can become queen here you can rule with your dragons yada 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 she did not seem okay with that and then he made that really disappointed face you remember mm -hmm. i don't know man I just don't know what's going on with that storyline. I'm very interested to see. I didn't see um, Stannis Baratheon. I did not see the Red Woman. Mm -mm. So they did leave that out. Oh, something, guys, when I was editing, I noticed, and this could absolutely mean nothing, but when we saw his name's Jock, Jockin, I think. Anyways, he's the guy who always speaks in third person. I I noticed he's told Arya something about to the Red God. And I'm, I was just wondering, like, is that the same? Who are you talking about, baby? Jockin, the guy who always says, a man, a woman. Uh, You know, he always says things. Oh, the guy who's person. a prisoner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy who the assassin? Yeah. Yeah, what's up with him? Um, well, I noticed in when I was editing, he said that he prayed, he said the red god or whatever to me that like the red woman? Yeah. I was wondering if that was the same thing. I was wondering if like he's part of like that kind of like it's like a whole different like there's like this whole class of people who like dip their toe in that whole like yeah it's like mystique. it's like there's the old gods there's the new gods and then there's the red god and whatever you worship determines like how you live your life and yeah, what you're yeah, like yeah. you have access to in the universe or or like to me it seems like the red woman has like spells yeah and like maybe he can have spells i don't know like i don't know the thing about it man is i don't want to speculate too much because it is very confusing to me so yeah. you know I we just, are i on... just noticed he said that and to me like i feel like that that was could be important in the long run that's all right we're just gonna have to see more man it's one of those things uh let me know when you're watching that the tv show are we doing a good job keeping up do we you know do you guys feel like we're doing a good job following the storyline are we putting things together well are we asking the right questions are you know sometimes the tv show will set you up to think something but in reality they have something else in mind but the way that they portray it they want 
want you to be on a certain path. So are we doing a good job in that regard? Because, you know, the more we get into like the red woman and, you know, the woohoo and all that of the show, the more confused I'm getting. Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. Like the more but, the more you use the spells and the more you use like, um, I guess like magic. That's what I'm kind of confused about because I don't know the basis of it. Right. So right, right. I think maybe if we watch when we watch the lore, we're going to understand a lot about like that kind of stuff. Maybe. I feel like by the time the show's over, guys, like like when we get to the finale of the show, we'll be 100 percent caught up Game of Thrones super fans who really have a really, you know, not as good as a lot of you guys because a lot of you guys have been studying this for years, yeah, but you guys are we'll have a really good understanding of everything that went on the show. And if for some reason there's anything to be left out or to be confused, we're not going to finish this series until we have a great understanding of everything going on. But right now we're just at the part in the story where it hasn't really explained it yet. So we don't want any spoilers. But as time goes, guys, we will definitely get these questions answered. They will be resolved. And as we move forward in the future, you know, obviously we'll have as much information as we can possibly have. So we can give you guys the best possible reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, man. Like, subscribe, share the video. That junk really does help a lot. I know people say it all the time in the videos. But guys, uh, if a few of you just happen to share the video, it can make all the difference in the world for the algorithm. Yeah, like if you know like other game of thrones the... fans share it up yeah man so many people are saying that you guys are loving the reactions and that's beautiful we love that but we also want to keep growing so just share the videos hit us up on patreon if you guys want more extended content and i don't really have anything else to say i'm having so much fun we'll see you guys in the next episode